yeah, it, it just walks over there like he's forgotten about it. Okay, now uh, the problem is you've got a rope tied to you, and it's tied to the opposite side where yeah. Tim is still. Yeah, I'm untying it from from my uh, from my body, and it will right. just swing back over to where Tim is. Yay. It, it just ends up hanging down, sure. Yeah, okay, I'll Tim. I'll pull it so. up and tie it up myself. That's super. Okay, now keep in mind that the bulk of the rope is also where you are right now, Tim, because it's big and awkward. Yeah. So you've got all the rope on your side. He has no rope on his side. Yeah, yeah. You have a huge coil, a huge coil, because 40 yeah. meters of rope is a lot of fucking rope, and it's fairly thick because it's sturdy. Uh -huh. hey, so uh, if you want to you want to tie one end of the rope to uh to like a crowbar or something and throw it this way? Or I could just do what you did and leave the rope behind us. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the bridge. Fuck your Burn rope, the bridge. bridge. What do you need the bloody rope for? What do you need the rope for? We're going to die anyways. All right. Here we go. Yeah. Ah! See? <laughs> All right. Fortunately, Tim doesn't have to worry about it. Well, Okay, but Tim bounces at the end of the rope and is hanging there. And the rope is tied on the opposite end, so Tim has to climb his own ass up. Let's see how that goes, sports fan. No problem. Okay, he gets back out of the pit. He looks like he's in a lot of pain. Ah, awesome. All right, let's try that again. No worries. Clearly, we both have to just do that in order to get over this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, okay. If he had fumbled, the rope would have fucking snapped for reasons. Just because it works <laughs> once doesn't mean it's a forever thing. But no problem. I think he barely manages. And it's one of those like last minute, oh, catch me type thing. Okay, you're over there. He's got a rope tied to him that's tied to the opposite side. Goodbye, rope. He says goodbye and. What? what are you gonna do with before me? before he like throws it off to the side, tie I, to the I grab there. it and I tie the rope that he has on the onto our side. Okay, yeah, great. Onto the beam. Yeah. Super done. I think it'd been funny if he's like, "Fuck this rope." <laughs> Fuck your rope. All right. So you both managed to make it through the maze of eternal torment again. Gather, gather up an arm or so of uh, fucking wood. Uh, you, wood. It's a bit more scarce, but yeah, you get more wood and make a new fire at the mine entrance. Mm -hmm. Now, we're not starting another fire. We're going to head out. With your wood? That's a lot of fucking weight with the food and all that other bullshit you got. Uh-huh. We need something to burn. You're in a forest. You burn. That's sure. right. And which is sure. We could go under pine trees and fucking hang out under those and start little fires under there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. All right. You think you remember maybe where the fire was, you hope? Do you want to just set off toward where you think it was? Yeah. Give me a memory roll. I think it's this one, he says. And you guys begin heading off. <laughs> 90. Excellent. And no. what? We haven't got to navigation yet. Let's get a four. <laughs> Try that roll again. Hiya! There we go. Much better. This way, he says with confidence. Now give me a navigation to keep the right course as you go in and out trees and around fallen trees. And oh, you're fucking good at this. Get a check in land navigation. Right. After much fucking fuckery. <laughs> Uh, how are you guys doing on time, by the way? I'm fine. I don't start work until Monday. <laughs> uh, moving on. I love my friends. Okay, great. And let's see. Wow, I can't believe you guys fucking survived here. That's amazing. All right. In the distance, you see what appears to be a... Uh, uh, fence or something, but it's weird because it's got a lot of space between the fence things and then the tops appear to be kind of bigger and bulbous, but you can definitely tell this is the right direction because in the further distance, 
you can see a light. There's a light. Awesome. But I thought I'd mention the weird fence that you're coming up to. Yeah, yeah, I'll throw a branch at it. Uh, you're a bit far away. When you get closer, you might be able to. Yeah, yeah, wait until I'm closer. No problem. As you get closer, you realize it's not really a fence so much as... Nice. Uh, you old head on a stick. Did you unfuck whatever was fucked? Yes. I'd accidentally closed my roll 20 thing. Oh. Yeah, Tim, did you find the thing I was telling yeah, you about? Yeah, 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 it's great. Yep, there's a fuck ton of them. Not an interesting thing. All women. Huh. Heads on pikes is what we're talking about here. You can see it on your thing, Mike. What? Uh, what? Hmm? Oh, uh, that, yes, I'm oh, gonna need mild sandy rolls from you guys, as it appears lots of people, maybe 50 or 100, some shit. There are a bunch of heads on pikes. Yep. Yeah. Heads right. on pikes, whatever. That's a 97. That's ah, super. Uh, <laughs> right, it, it's uh. That is uh, uh that is a. Critical fill on Saturday? Nice. Yep, yep. It's a D6 for what in the fuck is going on? Please roll me something high so I can laugh like a little schoolgirl. Six. Mm -hmm. Fuck yeah. Excellent. Now it's crazy time. Uh, uh, let's see. Roll let D6. Me, one. Let me oh. go ahead and pause that. Oh, God uh, damn it. Let Logan have his fun. No, that's going to be two. If you'd rolled another six, Logan would have had his fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. You're in five or four now. Four. Yeah, we're still tied. Mm -hmm. Who's going to win? Who's going to win? <laughs> also, I cleared up a brown area on the map. Ugh. Uh, it doesn't mean a lot now, but that's the general area you guys are coming in from. Okay. I'll, I'll show more in a second here. Actually, I'm just going to show you this map because um, uh, I feel like the less it. we know, the better. Hold on, more is coming. More is coming. And yes, it is really cold as fuck. I forgot to put some bikes in. You guys are coming from the South Road. Huh. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, some notes on the buildings. Yeah. Oh. There are some buildings that have been grayed out. I think those are the ones that got burned down. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. The only ones that seem to be doing trade right now is the imperial saloon that's where the light was coming from and you can hear loud ruckus voices of females the rest seem to not be doing a lot female voices yeah and the heads on all the pikes were females correct all right so all the heads are women Yep. That is an ugly ass woman. Yeah. <laughs> right. I couldn't find a lot of women on pipes for some reason. Mm -hmm. Hashtag sexism. <laughs> <laughs> Equal opportunity uh impaling. Fuck yeah. <laughs> okay um so we walk into town and there's just a uh, hundred like heads on pikes and we pass a couple buildings and there's a uh, a building that we can now read what the sign says uh yeah oddly all this stuff is legible here you don't understand why you can suddenly read shit here Okay, and to when we when we enter in, so the map's kind of like backwards. 
to the right is the Grand Hotel that has a bunch of people's heads on spikes out the front of it, and it's burnt down. Uh, you guys are coming from the South Road, so you're going by the. Oh. Pi- if you walked in, you'd be going by the Pioneer Hotel, which okay. doesn't look like it's open right now. Okay, I got I got confused because I figured we were coming from the north because there was a bunch of people's heads on pikes there, but. Uh, yeah, okay. like I said, I I forgot to put some on the South Road. Sad. Okay. So uh, there's a building that has like a bunch of heads on pikes. That's the church. Uh huh. That's scary. Yes, the first church you've seen in a bit. Uh huh. Well, they didn't even know what Jesus was in the last town, so. Well, no, they do now. They met him. Mm. Mm. He seems nice forgot. enough. He wanted to cleanse them with fire. Looks like somebody's been doing some cleansing here. <laughs> and the, in the, uh, give me the listen rolls over the storm. It is cold as fuck. Hiding out here, cold as fuck. You try to sleep out here, it'd be a survive or die type thing. Nope. Uh, yes. Made your listen? Cool. Uh, you hear some lady yelling, you ain't going to put out. Bang, bang, bang. Sounds like gunfire, possibly from the Imperial Saloon, but on the opposite end that you guys cannot see currently. Ha. Huh. I look around and I go, well, this place looks very warm and welcoming. Fucking gunfire. Ah, Jesus. What? I didn't hear any gunfire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a hell of a storm. Oh, TJ, by the way, give me a tracking roll. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Nope. It's a hell of a storm. Yeah. A hell of a storm. Hmm. Okay. All right. Cool. So, um, I guess we uh, we head into town. You said the uh, the building that's the Pioneer Hotel. Um, there's lights and stuff, but it's not open. No, there's no there's no lights. It looks like uh, it, it looks like it's not very damaged, but mm-hmm. it's a whole building. But nothing's going on there at all currently. Looks warmer than where you're at though. Okay. All right. And it's well, also uh, a decent distance from everything else. Yeah, it seems great. Um gonna try and go in go in there. Breaking in is surprisingly easy. It's not even locked. It looks like it used to be locked, but somebody fucking kicked it in. There's still a boot print on the fucking door. Um and uh, yeah, inside it it's it's got everything you would expect in a uh old westy type hotel in fact uh it's even got wanted posters up and it it mentions the year is 18 something you know etc 18 Uh, something yeah i i I can find the exact year for you around here if you want are there clothes anywhere 1860 and there's also a sign that says welcome to canada <laughs> Fuck. This would explain right, some of the cold. Goes anywhere? Yeah, you find some clothes, sure. Um, yeah, there's there uh, there's a couple of dead bodies and shit, and okay. there's also like clothes in the wardrobe and stuff. There's like Dude, uh, any of them have a gun and bullets. Yeah. Checking the bodies for weapons and. Yeah, sadly, no, but uh, you can give me a um, a spot hidden roll because you guys have plenty of time to search this place. Although, there is one thing. You need a light source because your lanterns will definitely give off a lot of light if you're trying to be sneaky. Okay. You need some clever way of decreasing the amount of light your lanterns give off if you want to be able to make your spot hidden rolls. Guys, kind of, kind of dark in here. 
Yeah, matches may even give you away unless you get all clever and shit. Match may give you away. Uh, yeah, think about it. All right, it's clever ways. You'll figure it out. Snowstorm, I see. Um, well, unless you're not worried about anybody else coming out, then you're fine. Um, so are you, are you are you concerned that people outside of the Pioneer Hotel will be able to see us? Is that is that what we're we're worried about here? Uh, yeah, if you're hotel, busy so looking for what, no outside is what I'm thinking of. Unless you're not worried about it, I mean, yeah, it's a shitty storm, but somebody may be moving around. the The front of the hotel was secured with like a lock of some kind. No, the door, the door was pretty much in been kicked in okay uh we'll shut that and is there like a bookcase or something that we can throw in front of it sure there's there's furniture you can put in front. I, I mean we'll keep out determined amount of people for long but yeah sure a speed bump sure speed bumps you can put up some speed bumps uh-huh are the fucking curtains closed no, they're not. You close curtains. Excellent. This will fucking do it. Great. Right. Yay. All right. Um, now your spot rolls, please. Yes. A and yes. quarter. Fuck's sake. No problem. You guys find, apparently, whoever was in here before didn't find it or they gave up on it. There is a hidden hotel-type safe. Mm-hmm. I have safe yep. cracking. Oh, my God. Yep. Roll. So I'm a minor forester firefighter guy. You're a safe cracking it. spy. Mm-hmm. Got it. No, no, I'm a thief. I steal uh-huh. things. Fucking burglar. Great. Uh, You're liking I, I him pass. more and more. Wow. He pops open the safe. There's uh, uh, Old West type money. Canadian. Uh, and there's also uh, one pistol with 20 bullets. Mm-hmm. It looks like a quote hog leg, aka cult. And uh, there's just miscellaneous uh, papers and shit that aren't going to do you any good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, roughly how much Canadian money? Uh, if that's relevant. About, about yes, it is. Uh, about uh, $110. Mm-hmm. And that's like a million dollars. In uh, it's quite, quite, quite uh, good. Yeah. Quite good. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Um, how good are you with a pistol? Firefighting minor man. Yeah. Well, when you get into uh, being a uh, fire investigator you actually get licensed uh some of you get licensed to carry firearms as you have to arrest people sometimes who you believe are suspects for the arson that potentially could have led to a fatality and in those cases it is expected that you would be armed how fast are you you on the draw what in the fuck Uh, i'm not a fucking trick shooter uh well i am (laughs) And enjoy the gun. <laughs> enjoy wow. the gun. I figure that since we're in um, what appears to be the Wild West. No, no, by all means. Um, does anybody have a uh, hip holster for uh, this Colt? Uh, there is one uh, on the Colt. It's actually, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, give me a luck roll. Uh, I'd like under half for this for some really specialized shit here. Sure. No. Not a no, no. critical fail or anything like that, but just it's, not. It's a fucking holster of some sort. Doesn't look very good to you. Sure. It will hold a gun, and uh, it's yes. like a hip hip holster of some kind, right? Yep. 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 I put it on. Hopefully it'll fit. It fits. Um, yeah. I give him. Um, you notice that it does say Lucy on it, like you know. Of course. Like on the on the leather or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I've been tooled into the leather, Lucy. 
Interesting. I'm going to take uh, my pocket knife and remove the Lucy part. Um, that, okay. Sure. Do you have leather working or crafting or? I have jerry rig. That's as Go close for it. to anything yeah, as you You're just going to fucking shave that bitch's name off. Yeah. Yep, I'm just going to cut it you up. You can see parts of the fucking gun through the hole you put in the holster. But yeah, or not, you're fine. Great. Yeah, you fucking don't like this holster anymore. That's fine. I'm sure that there will be another holster on another body. There's always another so, body. Yeah. Um, ah. I'm, I'm going to give you $60, Tim. Ooh. Hmm. Good amount of money. You, there are beds and stuff here. It, it looks like if you were to build a very discreet fire, it'd have to be really discreet, then it could be comfortable. I mean, well, it's there, pretty is comfortable there, is being there an upstairs. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got to go check upstairs, man. Oh, you, yeah. you guys have been all over this place. Oh, okay. Look, there's like, okay. it looks like some people maybe got drug out of bed and who knows where their bodies went, but, you know, stuff like that. That's where you got your clothes, extra clothes and shit. Got it. Right. The um the people that uh the bodies that we did find are like permafrosted, like frozen. Oh, the right? the the well, uh, the bodies you did find are missing their heads, but <laughs> other than that, seem cold, stiff. Yeah, stiff. <laughs> got it. Oh, that's so fucked up. Yep. So, there you go. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Seems every like, other, uh, just so you guys know, every other building that's not burned down does seem to be occupied, but the Imperial Saloon is where the ruckus is coming from. Right. Well, I would like to I eat would. and get some rest after shopping a million miles. Uh, if you would like to, would you like first watch, I guess? Well, we are, what building are we in? The Imperial Saloon in the middle of the town? No, we're in no. the Pioneer at the bottom right-hand corner. Uh-huh. The name might be covered by the skull. You have to move the map around. Imperial Saloon. Uh, yeah, the bottom... I have some sort of hotel in the bottom right. Yeah, Pioneer Hotel. Got mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I figured out where the fuck we are. All right. Excellent. <coughs> All right. Got it. Yeah, so you want to fucking bed down for the night here? Get some rest? Yep. You hear honky-tonk type piano playing from what you guess is the Imperial Saloon, or the Yetis have taken it up either way. <laughs> Stuff like that. And a lot of yee-haw from, in women voices. Right. Yeah, let's crash and wait for the next day. You guys uh, find one comfortable room that is well big enough for both of you so you can keep an eye on things unless you want yes. separate rooms for whatever reason. No, I, yeah. uh, I was hoping to uh, get a get a little bit of uh, like shifted sleeping happening. Make no problem. Bit. There's there's no. they they really seem to have gone overboard on the amount of blankets, comforters, quilts, etc. So yeah, it's actually quite comfortable. Next day, dawns. It's fucking early because you guys are uh, presumably doing shift work. Willpower rolls, by the way. <laughs> yeah, fine. Good enough. Times four. Yeah. Yep, yep. I just wanted to see if, like, one of you fell asleep and the other one could yell at him when, when you're surrounded by people or something. Uh, but nope. that fails to happen. So it's early morning. The sun is just up. I don't know if you want to wait until like noon to go out or some shit, but right now it's fucking early morning. It's you not snowing right now, but it's we'll windy as shit. Wait till tomorrow. If we uh we don't go out now and we get get into a scuffle with somebody, we can't tell them we're gonna duel them at noon. 
We'll be out. We'll have to wait till tomorrow. So we're today. That's what I just heard. <laughs> so, so, so we're, 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 we're up and first. We're stroll on the town. Just wander through the middle of town type deal. Well, yeah. to go up the road to the Gold Star Saloon and mm-hmm. past the church. And oh, lots of fucking bath. heads there. That place is definitely a butt yeah. bloodbath. That building is still together, and I would assume that there are... Oh, were all the corpses women as well, I would assume? Uh, most of them were. There's an occasional man corpse here and there. Okay. Um, the church has like all women heads for the most part. Mo- again, mostly it seems that uh, whoever did this really didn't like women. Got it. <laughs> no problem. Uh, give me spot hidden if you succeed. Memory rolls. Nope. I don't see shit. Yes and yes. Kim stops and makes a Sandy roll. Oh, no. <laughs> it's all the same people in this town and every town. Yeah, finally. I made it. No problem. Ah, it is as far as at least the barber goes. You recognize the mutton chops. He looks like mm-hmm. exactly the same motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to give Tim a card for coming up with that theory quick. Yeah. The uh, This town is the same as the last town? Mm, no, it's, or, it's, it's the roads are curvy for they one thing. Copies of people, or they're not able to produce enough unique ones, so they have to do some repeats. There's your card, Timmy. Hmm, skill plus 10, huh? Not bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll get rid of that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when the barber yeah, sees you, wanna... the, the barber sees you and frantically motions you over. Uh, we go over. Quick, get inside. He opens up the door and looking around and stuff. Get in, get in. All right. Do you guys want to ignore him? Keep strolling around town. Go in. I'll, I'll go okay. in. Okay. Great. He he closes up and he does the he he lowers the blinds and he does the nervous looking through him. He goes, it's a "Good thing you arrived in town so early. They ain't up yet. But if they're up, they see you. Probably as well shoot you, or worse. Or worse. The old barber with his white mutton chops nods at you." Much worse. Much what, worse. They what may even here? rape you. Well, a bunch of women came into town and they shot all of our women folk who were defending the town. Well, they got the men run scared. and Even they, the only ones that they really didn't shoot as far as the men folk were the ones working as the soil doves out at the saloon. Mm-hmm. <sighs> You hear your buddy beginning to deflate. You become alarmed, Mike. What's what's wrong, Maddox? Have you ever seen? I look a, at him for a little bit, like, "What do you mean, what's wrong?" You never, you never fuck? been in a situation like this before. What, what is right? In fact, I heard that they even got one of the men pregnant. They're gonna make him carry the baby. And they've taken a lot of the men off to the mines to work. A lot of the women, too, are the ones that didn't put up no fight. Yeah, they got a lot of skills for this place. Uh, huh? Mine? They got, a, <laughs> uh, they, got a mine. <laughs> they got a blacksmith. Fucking hey, I can make a living in this place. Yeah. Hey, hey, I would suggest that you get back on your dog sled team and you go back to where you came from. If you got the dogs out here and they find your dog sleds, they're going to take your dogs and your sleds. You should flee while you can. This town's already dead. Do you know where the women came from that came to this town? No. No, they Which just showed up. Where did they enter town from? 
Did I'm, they... I'm not sure. It was all sudden like. But I tell you what. I look outside now. Yeah, right. well, you're, you're lucky. They probably got drunk, and a lot of them are sleeping it off, but they always have guards, and if the guards see you, in fact, I'm going to let you out the back way when you're ready to go because I don't want to get – if they find out I helped you, they'll kill me. Probably I'm too old for raping, but they'll kill me. <laughs> right. I'm too old for raping. <laughs> no, I don't think you are, Sonny Jim. Mm. <laughs> Perfect age. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Uh, where could I get my hands on something to defend myself with? Well, I don't know the. Uh, there's only one. Pr I don't really want to say because if you get caught, you'll get the name I don't out know of you. you. They do horrible things, though, and I don't I want don't to... I don't know who you are. Well... I'll say I the guy you... who was a guy. Huh? I don't have any idea who you are. We have no <laughs> the only idea man who that you are. Mean. Well, I, I suppose... Uh, you, you, what kind of weapons are you looking for? Probably guns. They seem popular oh, here. I see. Well, I, I'm not sure, but maybe maybe Lin Lin and Ding Bang. They're the Chinese people over at the laundry. Ha. At last it all comes together, you think. I knew it. I knew it. But they're okay here. Fine. Are they? They're okay here. They weren't okay They're in like okay regular here. society. But nah, the, the place looked like fucking communist. I don't know if, if they're going to have anything, but it's too dangerous to move around in the daytime. Uh, right. And they so would night. be where at the laundry? Yeah. But aren't they asleep during the daytime? Well, some are because they got too drunk up shooting and raping and stuff, but. A lot of them women, they stay up. <coughs> Fucking snoo snoo. All right. This guy's a little bit shorter than you guys are. Death by oh, snoo snoo. Death oh. by snoo snoo. <laughs> the best way to go. All right. All right. Sweet. So he's going to let us out of the barber shop and we'll work our way around the back side of town to the laundry place? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, I guess so. Sounds like a plan. All right. We head off. Okay. Uh, yeah, the, the uh, grocery store has signs uh, up on the, the, well, nothing you can see here in the back, but no problem. Give me a simple stealth roll because there is some. Bad area between the barber shop and the dry goods place, so you got to cross a lot of dead area there. Hey, I'm motherfuckers! Mm -hmm. That fumble. Uh, he fumbled. <laughs> I I just failed. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna... Hey, you cunts! <laughs> Let me check on the. Uh, I'm sure the they cards. really love being called cunts too. Oh yeah, guards love that kind of shit. Or women like that kind of shit a lot. It shows. It shows him standing there, with like with his taga going, "You cuts," and it shows the lady looking the opposite direction and stuff. And then he like does the fucking "I have a big dick" stroll by, and then she like looks in the other direction, completely missing. Yeah. That bonus is completely missing. All right, you guys have managed somehow through cop. Yes, they do have uh, it. looks like somebody uh, keeping an eye out from inside the Imperial Saloon. Like, but there's a big window and they're like sitting in a chair inside. Some lady with like scar and shit looked hard, like hard looking lady, like you know, sitting there, hand on a rifle or whatever, looking around. Completely missed him. 
doing, and he's like doing duck steps and shit. He goes back and forth a couple times, like Nate spinning his dick around, and whatever. <laughs> yeah, pole dancing on his own penis and everything. She completely Fucking helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Not while I'm sitting at a computer. <laughs> can't believe you got me with that. That was so fucking horrible. Anyway, so, uh, right, you guys are in back of the... <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. You spin me right up, baby, right up. <laughs> So fucking horrible. So, <laughs> such a bad Sorry. man. Go ahead. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, you guys are over at the, the uh, laundry, and yes, it is a Chinese laundry. Yes, this was written before you came up about your fucking crackpot theory. <laughs> I can't explain this shit. So anyway, I you the back door is there. It looks closed and shit. Um. Eventually, uh, uh, lady, kind of tall for a Chinese lady, but definitely she's Chinese. She looks at you. What you want? Help. No happy, helpy. Well, easy. Ding bang. No. No, you go back to bed, ding bang. Some kind of shorter, very short uh, guy comes in and goes, oh, let them in, let them in, let them in. No ding bang. And it's off in Chinese. Does either of you have Mandarin? No. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Come nope. again. Mm -hmm. They argue in a uh, different language for a while. And eventually, she grudgingly stands aside and lets you in. Mm. Come in. Come in. Judging by what he said for his strength, I'm thinking we're the goon squad. I, too, tried uh, to max out my strength. I mean, my uh, my deck strength luck well, are all maxed. Yep. So. Oh, yeah. 60. Go for 60s. Yay. Oh, yeah. They were 99s. <laughs> yeah. Were they 99s? Oh, yeah. Until I got so... informed that it needed to be cut back. Sorry. That's yeah, okay. okay. They, uh, he goes to make tea. She sits down with you at a table. Okay. She looks back awesome. and forth at you. What you want? You know what's going on here? Why you come uh, here? We don't. You Maybe want? you could enlighten us. Bunch of bunch of women gunfighters come into town. Shoot up place. Kill all women. They some, didn't kill some, you. Some, I'm too old. I'm too old. Plus, you need clean clothes. No checky, no ticky, no washy. Mm hmm. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Sounds legit. I hope I need to. She looks like, huh? What you, what you mean? Right. Uh, the, why you do, come the, here? Uh, do the Amazon people have a have a leader of some kind? What Amazon? The women? Very. Oh, yeah. Women. The women. Yeah. Oh, they all talk. You know women always bigger than men. We look at her. <laughs> she looks at you and raises an eyebrow like, what you going to do, punk? I'm guessing me and uh, Mike's character are both over six foot easily. You're you're both you're both about to. You, she has to look up to you slightly, but she is she is definitely like a whole lot of Chinese. Actually, she's a little shorter because she's still Chinese, but she's a whole lot of woman if you know what I mean. The dude's okay. really tiny. Excellent. <laughs> Why you come here? Uh, we came here to get away. Get away from uh, another place. Uh, we're, we're trying to get out of this place, too. What? You mean hey, Canada? Hey, uh, name. Very cold, name, yeah. Give, give her the description of the guy who uh, is missing his ring. I don't know what, what he looked like. I didn't see him. What you talking about? I'm talking to Mike. The guy that's missing his ring? The, the special. Yeah, but she can hear you and is looking confused. That's fine. Waiting for the plane. 
the television, the guy <laughs> who had and wanted the, the thing. The decoder, the decoder ring guy? Yes. Halfway in. Halfway in. What halfway in? We're, we're trying to find the halfway in. I don't know it. You're in Canada. Canada. What about, what about the just the tip in? You're making a joke? No, I'm not, unfortunately. She looks baffled. Why you come here? Why are you in my shop? What you want? Do you know which direction the other females came from? No. Hmm. I think maybe I think maybe they come from outside of town and they have stuff they got all. Don't know why. I think they want mine. Which one? Don't know. They take men there. Probably could track, but you know, don't go there because that I think where, they take men. they take the men? The mine? Yeah, north north northwest town. Northwest of town. They go mine. Um, is it, are there anybody, is there anybody else that are not the women that came to conquer it in this town? Like, why are there a bunch of heads at the church and the uh, police station? A bunch of, a bunch of people, they get scared when women come to town. They go there, they want God to protect them. God knows that. This is why Buddhism better. <laughs> Christian God, he know how. Nobody like him. Jesus is all no good. We work. We keep our head down. You should take you. You come here, dog sled. Yes, you come on dog sled. No, we did not come on dog sled. We walked on foot. No, not possible. Uh, one month, well, one month nearest town. No good. Well, we did I it. At, I look at his clothes. I look at my clothes. I look at her. She looks baffled. Deep, deep. Right. Dogs. Sure. Dogs. Yeah. Only way out of town. Dogs like. Nobody walk. You were lying. Why are you lying? Are there, are there any dogs in the town? Yes. Mm -hmm. According to this That's map. Where? Definitely. At dog kennel. Dog kennel. Next door. Across the street, road. Who, right who over operates there. the dog kennel? What? Who operates the dog kennel? Hmm. She says. You're going to get him in trouble. You're going to get me in trouble. Why are you do? Oh, here's tea. <laughs> uh, her husband serves tea. Yeah, take two months by walking on snowshoes. You got snowshoes? Cross-country skis. Maybe you ski in, huh? No. About a couple of weeks, maybe more. Literally just walk. You're full of shit. Why you lie? Why are you always lying to me? <laughs> She waits for her husband to serve tea around and stuff. He does. Okay. You want to go see dog sled, man? You get caught. You'll get killed. No good. Protection first. What? I point at his fucking hog leg that he has on him. Oh, you were told I have weapons. I don't have normal gun like that. I have something better than gun. I hope it's an axe. No. All right. What do you got? If I give you this, you must not tell anybody where you got it. But you are going to beat up evil women? You yes. get our men back? You get men back from mine? Oh, shit. Hmm? <sighs> Well, I, look, I just look across the table. Mm. <laughs> yes? <laughs> I, I look at you. You're the one that needs the sword. Why you look at each other? You tell me you want weapons. I say, what you do with weapons? You look at each other. You don't know. Uh, hmm. Yeah. That's right. So you don't want the weapon? You not beat up women? Why are you here? <laughs> You want uh, uh, I'm curious about what weapon you have that's actually better than guns. Go get weapons, she tells her husband. He's like, 
You sure? These are very good weapons. Oh, go get weapons. He's not taking them anyway. He's a stupid man. He brings out a long, narrow, wooden box. He opens it up to reveal a matched pair of Chinese fighting swords with the tassels on the end. <laughs> I look across the table. He, <laughs> he slams the box shut and looks insulted. <laughs> I like look at the axe that I got on my fucking back. That's no good. That's for trees. This is for killing. <laughs> you people, bad people. You go. You go now. Uh, Why are you laughing at me? You, you don't want the swords? <laughs> we were gonna. Those? You go now. I can cleave a guy in half with this axe. What the fuck am I going to do with a sword? I think I'll get stuck in a bone. Nobody fight with tree axe. You go now. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, who runs the dog kennels? Darn cow. What? Hmm? You don't want to, do you know how to do you know how to use dog sled? I didn't ask if uh, uh, anything about that. I asked you who runs the dog kennels. You don't need to see her. You need I... to see Rowena because you stupid men. You need brain. Rowena has big brain. You go talk to her. Who is Rowena? She old lady. She she been here a long time. She live over at house. Next to blacksmith shop. You go there. Tell her I sent you because I'm mad at her still. <laughs> she understand. You go now. Stop drinking tea. You go now. All right. Uh, I I don't hold up uh, leaving. Uh, we leave. You've seen me change quite a few times, haven't you? Um, because you busted into the room. My guy's, like, his back and his upper arms and his shoulders are all covered in fucking Norse-looking tattoos. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, she likes to break on, in on you while you're naked. He's for well, he definitely some did. Reason. Right off for the some bat. reason. He just keeps doing it over and over, though, and trying to act surprised every time. <laughs> You're not sure what's going on, but... What the fuck? All right. Now, this time, uh, I'm assuming you are you just wanting to walk like you own the place, or do you want to be stealthy? Um, I we, we still want to try and avoid being seen by the Imperial Saloon and uh, being seen come out of the laundry, so... Um, All right. I would, uh, I would like to be stealthy. From just one of you, figure out who before you roll. I would like a luck roll to see is there anybody around who's going to be taking big notice of you? That's first. I'll roll the luck roll. That's. Oh. I, I don't pass. You suck. So now you both need to make your stealth roll as people are up and around and doing things as you make your way over to the I house. I don't make my stealth roll. All right. As you are badly the gun, people always notice guns. Yeah, you you see a uh, uh, couple of ladies coming in on snowshoes uh, and making better time than you guys do from the north uh, west down the road, and one of them goes, "Stop right there!" and points at I you. Stop, and I look at them. They trudge forward in their fucking snowshoes, but they do uh, take out their hog legs, i.e. Uh, guns, and hold them in a threatening manner. Um, I, As soon as they start going for their guns, I also mm -hmm. draw my gun. Run. Oh, no, we're in combat. Yeah, run. <laughs> we all have our announced actions. All right, got it. Okay, so round one of standard combat. 
This should be fun. Ah, God damn it, it's small. How do we Hold work on. pulling cards? Yeah, I'm not sure. I would I would find a little space on the board. Uh, for you guys, you each start with one card pooled, since it's uh, there's only two of you. But figure out where you are wanting to do that, and then you'll have to pool your own cards and stuff like that. Okay. I'm not sure how to do that yet. I'm like somebody smarter than me come up with this shit. This this right here is Mike's cards. So I'm going to put Mike. You can even make a little title or name above it if you felt like it. Yay. Oh, I need the pointer. And don't forget on the, uh, if you want to make the cards bigger, or smaller, or whatever, if you switch to uh, the pointer deal and uh, instead of the hand, then you can move the card size up and down and all that. Uh-huh. Right. Red, ready for, ready for it? A card. Pardon me? I'll just write it down in case I lose it. There you go. That's an airway way to do it, I suppose. Okay, so round one. Uh, normal combat. Heroes are first. Magic item stops. Villains are second. So, I... Uh, Give me a fast draw if you're wanting to fast draw your hog leg there. Maybe you'll even clear leather before they do. Nope. Or not. All right. You pull your gun. And mm -hmm. TJ, uh, you're running as at like half because the snow is uh, past your knees. So good luck. Which direction are you running, by the way? Super deep. Uh, we were heading toward the kennels, correct? Yep. There's a fucking blacksmith. I will run around the ass end of the kennels and keep running toward the uh, uh, side of the blacksmith place. Cool. I'm not sure how far you'll actually get because the buildings are pretty big and you run really fucking slow in combat. You're going to be running like seven meters if you successfully sprint a half. Otherwise, you'd be moving like... or How no. close to the kennels are we? To the kennels? Uh, across the road... You might reach it in like two rounds if you make your both sprinting rolls. Christ. Reach the wall. Yeah. I mean, you could throw yeah, yourself I... flat in the snow and uh, possibly burrow in if you wanted some concealment. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, I just fucking... I run... Just run toward the fucking blacksmith. That's fine. You made your sprinting at half? Oh, I make sprinting at half. Uh, so I need a 30 or less. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah. not do anything. Yeah. Um, Nobody else is sprinting much either. Ten. Holy fuck. Ten. You are literally fuck all of you. <laughs> at, at, you are literally at the road. One more spring roll like that. You I grew up in an area where they have lots of snow. <laughs> Apparently so. So, uh, right. For their round, they both draw their uh, uh, pistols. And let me try their fast draw. I don't know if they, either of them will get off a shot, but we'll see. So first one. Yeah. Second. So they draw their guns. Everybody has a gun out. And you're wishing that somebody else had a gun aside from you. Right now at the range you're at, everybody's going to be at half skill. You, them, everybody. Because you're a ways away from each other. Right. Because, you know. All right, and now it's next round. Um, so if uh, um, just uh, just be a little bit more familiar, um, okay. moving. Um, I can I move and fire at the at the same time, or is are simple this action? Thing? Thing? Simple action, thing, which in the with this amount of snow and how far apart you are, even if you walk toward them for like three or four rounds, you'd still be a fucking half skill because bullets fly a lot further than your fucking movie. Got it. Um, would a move five meters card help with something like that? Mm, uh, two rounds of uh, one round of simple action with the five meters in there. And then next round you could get into full, full damage or full chance to hit for everybody. Okay. Well, I will. You and them. Um, I will. Uh, try to move to um, take cover around the kennel area, move towards the kennel. So if that's away from them, that's great. It, it kind of stays even with them. So uh, pretty much with your with your massive plus five meter card, on a simple action, you'll catch up to TJ's magnificent sprint. Mm -hmm. 
which irritates him. So this round, villains are first, heroes are second, and get a total heal. Ding. If you guys were damaged before, you're fine now. So the bad guys, uh, Yippin and Yappin, uh, both shoot at the guy with the gun. Yep. They're not so worried about the other guy who's got like an axe or whatever. They can finish him off in a bit. But they're at half skill, so let's see what happens, shall we? Wow, not quite a fumble, but goddamn close. <laughs> they both make noise in the air with their pistols. <laughs> and now it's the PC's turn. Bing! Attack is approved, so if you attack somebody and actually inflict any damage or at least hit them, you get a fucking card. All right. Don't forget to pull a card, by the way. At the beginning, at the end of every round, you pull a uh, card. So we yep, should have I've two got, up now. I've got two up right yes. now. Perfect. Um, I'm, I'm going to fire my, my pistol at them, I suppose. I'll Is give you five more shots left. Half skill almost. or whatever? Almost. Yeah, almost. Yep. That's fine. Um, uh, I continue yep. to run. No problem. You hear, well, actually, you don't hear shit right now. You hear gunfire. Uh, a listen roll at half for free from both of you, please. Well. Fuck me. Nope. Tim, from back at the uh, Imperial Saloon, you hear, What my tarnation was that? Uh -huh. Yeah, you know it's going to get worse. So, uh, right, hero's turn. Tim, give me your sprint roll, and you'll be touching the wall of the Death. dog kennel. All right, so let me, instead of twisting my ankle, uh, that's not twisting my ankle, that's just not succeeding. Oh, super. Okay, you're uh, a little on. closer. Uh, no, this is not a spend a point. No. Yeah, I get a little closer. Yeah. All right, and uh, he's already shot, so we're going to next round. But I am pulling ahead. Well, yeah, you're like a meter or uh, so ahead. Yeah, because it's like one one slash three meters per round, something like that. No Combat worries. rounds don't last long. Heroes are first, villains are second. Headbutting somebody is approved, but not really possible. So, heroes are first. Uh, give me your sprint roll there, TJ. See if you can touch the side of the building. Move slightly toward the front. Hell no. Okay, one more round of this, and you can touch the fucking building, TJ. 